Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Kenny TV. So in this video, we're actually going to be going over when your printer supply is running low on ink. Okay? And also, those that watch my video on converting the Epson Workforce 7840, which is also the 7820 series, into a sublimation printer, a lot of people was having trouble with this chip right here. And this chip needs to be facing up just like that. So when you actually change out your chip, this is how it needs to look. Okay. And this is the refillable cartridge. So I went ahead and already changed out the black. And also you need to make sure that it matches the colors when you're switching the chips out, okay? And also, just a heads up, if you're looking to save some money, you can actually use the 812XL cartridges. You can take the chips off these and put it on the refillable ones. That's if and when your printer is saying the supply on ink is low, okay? I haven't went that far. It got as low as possible, but it was asking to change the cartridges. And before we get into the video, subscribe, smash the like button, drop some comments, ask some questions. I'll be willing to reply and answer any questions that you may have. So hopefully changing out these chips right here will get a better understanding on getting your printer up and running. So let's get into All it. All right, so now it comes time when you see this ink is low. And I already successfully changed out the black chip with the 812XL replacement. So I went ahead and zoom out, remove the chip, and replace it. So you can actually use the 812XL. You don't have to use the T812 that Epson wants you to buy. So it's all about you know saving money until they get the software where you don't have to worry about buying chips. So what you need to do on your printer Go to your settings, you're going to go to maintenance, and then you're going to scroll down to ink cartridge replacement and press start. So as you can see, my black is full right now. Even though I wasn't out of ink, it was just the microchips. So just make sure you just lift up, let the printer do what it's got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is how you want to take out your cartridges. Slowly. Okay. So this is the 812 chip. And then once you change your chip and you fill up your ink, see I got plenty of ink in there. You don't want to angle it. Never put it in this way or this way. Try to get it as flush as you can. Hold in the tab. And just push until it clicks. So we're going to take out these. Okay. Doing this by one hand. So I lost the chip on that one. 
No, I didn't lose the chip. <laughs> Actually, got stuck down there. But just be careful taking these out. Okay. And let me set up this camera real quick. So remember, taking this one out. Actually, this came off. All you got to do is, oops. Slide that back in there. All right. So the black is done. Make sure when you're working on replacing these chips, when you do your refills, or if your printer is calling for the chips because it's running out of the ink from the original chips. Start with the Scion. Switch these out. And if you low on ink, remove that. Get your syringe, and then you're gonna fill up your ink, clean up, clean up your mess. Let's go ahead and take that chip off. Get you something sharp, razor blade. This also helps. Exacto knife works really well. Just remember, take your time. Because they glue these guys really good up in here. And I'm probably going to speed up the process. But once you take the chip off, just remember, you see four, wait, actually one, two, three, four, five. Then the, then the four on the top, that's how you're going to place your chip. Just like that. It's the only time you should angle it. Placing the chip.
All right. Got all the chips exchanged. So, we're going to put these bad boys back up in here. So, we're going to start with the Scion. The black has already been converted. Just, you know, so this, all this is a learning process for myself too, because I really thought that you only can use the uh, the T eight twelve Epson ink chips only. And just make sure when you just want to push them in until you get the snap. So I'm doing this one hand, so the camera is shaking. Sorry about that. And just take your time placing these these in. Okay, go ahead and close that, and just close the top. So we're going to see what it's going to do. It's going to take a few minutes to initialize. I bought these on sale on Amazon. I'll place the link down there. Again, this is not a promotion promotion or affiliate link commission. This is just to help everybody out. These were on sale. So this is what the chips, the new chips that I put in there. But while we waiting, go ahead and subscribe. Smash the like button have any questions drop a questions or a comment I'll be more than happy to help you there we go it's complete hit the home button boom right there you see nothing so we're just going to check on the supply status everything is full Well, again, thanks for watching. Everybody have a blessed day. Until next time, peace.